I in order to have the hand um, respond more like a hand I thought it was a nice idea to relocate the touch switches to the fingers themselves so on top or next to it however in the current setup um, the switches next to them so that uh, the actual switches point uh, upwards that gives a problem with, um, with the wiring so I put them flat and let's see what that happens for now Let's compress some air and that is indeed the routine which I started. However, when I put the sensor, it uh, is quite cumbersome. Because I can't just press them, I have to hold them. Um, that is not uh, really good, uh, and especially here, it's not. Uh, it could be a lot better. So let's try another setup. Okay, so I have set the fingers further apart, so the wiring is in the same flat, but this also means that I have used the complete platform for now. So let's see how that works. And that works a little better. Although the distance between the fingers are now more like this instead of this. So I'm not completely satisfied with this solution, but at least there's a uh, some progress in making a hand with uh, some nice touching uh, fingers. And of course when it comes to constructing a real hand, uh, who knows what uh, the challenges are then, we will have to see. And another problem is, of course, when there's a fifth finger added, um, this platform will be too small. So, um, it will have to be a, a very different solution altogether for this. But we'll see what happens then. In the meantime, this is. Uh, a nice new setup and um, I'll probably have a different uh, make a different um, solution for this uh, routine and then there is uh, 
other space saving solution. To put them on top like this. So right now pressing and this is quite uh, simple. And it works nicely. And it might even leave some space for the fifth finger. It's quite easy to touch, like this. And in the meantime there has risen a problem with the compressor, which is maybe due to too many uh, movements. And let's see how we can solve that one. So, to be continued.